Okay, so what I have to do is do a front sway bar. I'm going to run from here over to here, this piece of aluminum. I'm going to cut out, drill two holes, and this is going to keep the wheels from towing in. So as you can see, I now have this splay bar. And so what I did is I got my wheels perpendicular, measured the distance uh, between the two bottom nuts, drilled my holes uh, to fit that within this bottom bar, bolted it in place, and now uh, I won't have the slide, uh, the tilt that I had before. Okay, what I'm doing is I've been putting my pedals on. I got two more to go, so uh, I'm gonna countersink some holes and I pre-drill into the ends of my blocks which fit in between. You can see uh, UHMW glides um, and I just make four of them. They're four inches by inch and a half by one and uh, they work pretty okay, well. Okay, so now we're going to attach the rear brakes. I'm going to drill a hole through and bolt this into position and then I'm going to also locate a bracket off of here to hold this corner and I'll drop a bolt through there. That way I have at least two points uh, for the brake lines to, to hold steady and true. And I'll do this reverse and repeat on the back side. Okay, we now have the rear brake calipers on. I dropped a bolt through there, which I drilled through. And remember we've got that upper rail, inch and three eighths, uh, chain link fence pipe running through here. So it gives us some rigidity. I made a little bracket here to pick up this end so that this doesn't pivot side to side. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run new cable, continuous loop, around to a catch plate, back through to the other side. So I have one cable pulling both brakes, and then I'm going to connect my uh, rear brake cable up to that uh, using a custom bracket that I have to fabricate. Then we will attach the front brakes, and then the chain. Okay, it's time to put on a chain. As I bought a couple spare chains, I'm going to use two of these together, and I have a chain brake to break off the extra chain. These both have master links because this is going to be a custom link. Now what I'm doing is I'm using my regular bicycle uh, which is also 18 speed. I have it set to the lowest gear ratio uh, so that I can trace out exactly where everything needs to be so I get the right chain length. Uh, so basically I'm mirroring this onto this bike here. As you can see we got the chain on. We will tie off the cables later. Once we get everything all buttoned up, for right now I'm working on the front brake brackets. Get those, uh, just uh, bent those up. We're going to draw out the holes, mount them, get the brake calipers installed. Then I'm going to run all my brake cables back to my handles. Then we should be ready to go for a little test ride. Okay, I now have front calipers on. I've run new brake lines. Uh, I bought a uh, brake cable covering 50 foot spool and 16th inch 7x19 aircraft cable. So I'm replacing everything and I've pulled all of the front brakes back to here. I'm going to put in my dashboard, in which case I'm going to connect this into a custom plate that I'm going to make, compression plate. So next what I'm doing is I'm going to wire up with new cable the back brakes. Like I said earlier, I'm coming out with one continuous cable all the way through with two separate pieces of covering and in the middle I'm going to grab that and pull it at the same time. In order to finish the rear brakes and the front brakes I'm going to be putting in a piece of diamond plate I picked up from a local scrap yard for three bucks uh, and so now what I need to do is measure to drill out for uh, the steering column as well as these posts and I'll round off the corners and grind everything so it's nice and smooth. But this is where my brake cables are going to attach into um, for my compression uh, plates. Okay, so now our diamond plate is in. And what I'm doing is I'm drilling holes. And I'm using some of the end caps from the old bikes that I scavenged uh, to capture. And I cut the rear brake line tubing to be the same length as the front brake line. Because this will come out. And feed into there and then on the back side is where my compression plates will go for the front and rear brakes okay all my brake cables are now pulled i have them loosely zip tied off to the frame once i'm done with all of this uh, including the wiring for the lighting i will tighten all those up clip the ends neaten it up uh, now a couple things is i pulled these little ferrules off of the old brake cables 
that I will use as end stops on my new cables. Uh, so you want to save those. You don't want to toss any of that stuff out because there's all kinds of good things that you can scavenge. I even used the stop nuts uh, off of the old brakes um, from one of the bikes uh, for my handlebars. So I've clipped my cables there now through. Um, I'm putting my end stops on. And then next is to fabricate the uh, compression frames, which basically uh, I have a couple standoffs with a plate back here with springs, and then there's a free floating plate that this will attach to, as well as my other two brake lines. So as this cable moves in, it'll pull the other one. Okay, first compression plate is assembled. Uh, I have my stop on for my handle. So now as I pull it, I'm going to lube these up here with um, uh, axle grease so that they move in and out. I'm going to run these, my front brakes, uh, into here, crimp the back side of those, and then I should be good. And then the front brakes will be working. Okay, and I got all my cables in, crimped. Now I will pull off the slack by pulling out here, pulling all the tension in so that my cables are, my cable covers are nice and taut. And then I can adjust. Uh, all right, so now we got both compression calipers in for the brakes. They're tested, working. What I did is I put a clamp on the brake to pull everything tight, and then I drew the brake parts together to get my tension correctly. It's you know, pretty typical how you uh, would tighten up and adjust brakes on a regular bicycle. Okay, it's now time to attach the seats. What I did is I got a couple heavy duty drawer slides attached to the bottom of the seating. slides in and out and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop an angle down with a drop bolt for different positions. Um, I have some slotted rod that I will mount to the bottom there and we'll just use drop pins.